Hello there, amazing internet and beautiful creatures of the beyond. Look what I did. <laughs> I did it. I finally did it. I made a better panda logo. <laughs> a smirking one at best. Um, now I tried some new versions of background and so on with this new frame. Uh, what you see here is a texture, a free texture. Then I applied, but I could have missed the texture, but I just wanted to be a little bit lazy and just do something a little bit more, I don't know, specific to a pattern. Then to this, I have applied a filter, Garden of Delights. Well, if that works, it works. And then I've played here. I've made some highlights here and there. There was, ah, there is one here, but it's very soft. Then we have highlights of the cheeks. And at the beard, and I made this little fang, though it looks like it's drooling. <laughs> but I don't mind. Then you have the earring. Oh, oops. I might have pushed this by accident. Well, I'll fix it later. That's not a big problem. And now all we have to do is decide which is the best. Personally, I think this one is the best because it uh, it feels like it complements the cheeks and the nose a bit, the, the red uh, parts, the blushing. Looks like a drunk panda, to be honest, but well, happy pandas are all each drunk pandas, I suppose. <laughs> and the earring was a bit difficult to do because I could and get the gradients correctly but then i got something interesting maybe it pops up a bit too much but i don't mind it since it's a logo or an emblem or whatever it is a symbol of power of delight that's gonna be in miniature wherever i post it i don't think it's gonna be that noticeable anyway so let's see this with a darker background. Yeah, this one doesn't do it much favors with anything darker. But this one works. This one, I be, I feel it's a little bit sad. And this one is... Mm, yeah, I, I think it's too cliche. You know, pandas, bamboos, green... <laughs> But this one was just cute. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think this is the final version that I'm gonna use for my uh, YouTube and uh, Twitch. Not that the old one wasn't uh, nice, but I thought it was a bit too simplistic in nature. Uh, I don't even know if I have it anymore. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you? In something logo. Escape Panda logo. Yeah, so this bear was a little bit too simplistic versus our new bears, which look, I don't know, they, they, they can even be stickers. <laughs> mm. The part with the, uh, what are they called, whiskers came in the last moment, so. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Mm. Yeah, this panda looks sad. But it was the template for my new panda. Anyway, 
uh, I wanted to also show you guys that I haven't been so lazy as you might think. Well, I am lazy. Okay. You caught me red handed. But I have done. Um, I've been working on this. Why isn't it open? So. Ah. Well. Okay. Now we have uh, our hair applied with our face. There are still some things that I still need to fix here and there, especially in the hair. Uh, and just to give you an idea, let me make sure that this gets uh, here that the, the hair is a bit more elongated towards this part, towards the forehead. While on what I have worked, I have clipped a bit of the hair. But this is normal because there's so many details that you have to blur and so on. So I'll have to kind of come in here and add extra detail to fill in the, these gaps, especially here around the ear. But anyway, then there will come the neck and so on. Although I am super happy about how the face has ended up being, I think it did quite a nice job. Let me enable this. Yeah, so here's there's still some issues. But looking on the grand scale of things, yeah, I think we nailed it. I'm not super happy about this side. There is still a bit of an issue here. But it's difficult to perceive. So it's like a very thin seam that clips through the shadow. And it leaves like a white line. And that is noticeable. But I'm still working on some methods to overcome this. Maybe find a way to overlap shadows or create one single shadow. Although... I don't know. It will take a bit of uh, testing for me. We shall see. And I know this this goes really slow and I'm not in the mood of working on it every day because things happen and I have to do things and be absent. And when I get home, I'm like, ah, I'm not in the mood. But then I have like a moment of inspiration and I listen to some music and I'm like, ah, this is the moment. Where are you, ballerina? And I start doing things. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I suppose the mouth might need some little retouching here and there from what I've seen. But again, uh, all of these retouches can come after the whole thing is done because I'm absolutely sure when you're working in uh, separate files with different parts, it's uh, a given that some elements are not going to fit in perfectly so you have to do the adjustments after you import everything in the main file which i have done here and this is the main file but yeah uh from afar it is a pretty close match not perfect but around 80 percent maybe 85 <laughs> percent let's be a bit more indulgent yeah, well, I, I shall work on this hair, uh, but maybe at a later date after I've done the rest of the body and so on. I was thinking of working today on the chest here and the neck, but I have I was uh, preoccupied with my panda logo, so <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing that one. Well, hmm. What else can we talk about in here? Close without saving, please. Uh, well, I hope you guys like this new panda. I don't know. It's a bit more retro. More... More... Um, I don't know. Maybe cyberpunk. <laughs> I wish. Hmm. Well, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just keep playing with colors and shades here and there. And I like the frame. The frame is maybe the 
most I like about this. And it was just a one-click thing. Obviously, I did a lot of clicks to, before I got the perfect example. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And catch you next. Catch you all next time. <laughs> See ya. Bye, 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 bye.